fight for the Iron Kingdoms as a Warcaster. Take control of the mighty Jax, Arcane Devices, and Dark Sorceries to bring the fight to the War Machine Hub on BeastsOfWar.com. Progress comes to a world of magic as science and the arcane combine to make marvels. Meet steampunk inventors and orc mystics at the Volsung Hub on BeastsOfWar.com. So, hi guys, welcome to What's in the Box. Time for a look at another Relic Knight. Yeah, now this is a bit of a different one for me because. Uh, yeah, this guy is from the, the No Empire. That's so N O H. Yeah, but it's not <laughs> No, it's No. His name is Kasaro To. Kasaro To. Yep. And, and his cipher called Azzy? Yes, Azzy. Who's okay. just a little red demon dude. All right, okay, cool. To go along with the big red demon dude, which is quite cool. So, we'll get the bits out, mm -hmm. and we'll get the cards out, and then I'll show everyone the artwork because. The art from Relic Knights does just jump out at you and say, it's beautiful. look at me. It is beautiful. Yeah, so here he is. Uh, this is again a Relic Knight version of this guy. I don't know how he got his Relic Knight, but his Relic is sort of a gigantic Asian lion statue come to life. Yeah, like one of those big copper statues or something. Yeah, sort. so if we start with the mech... Well, do you want to start with the stat cards? Uh, actually, yeah, I'll start with the stat cards because so I'll I can give you time. open it all. Yeah. All right, well, we'll start by showing you... Azzy, who is such a cute little dude, is just this little tiny red demon guy. Mm -hmm. uh, we then obviously have Kasara To, who's looking to be reasonably quick on the table, a monster in combat, good shooting defense, good magic defense, and decent armor. Yeah. So for Azzy, he's a tricksy little bugger. Yeah. Uh, Pearl Cipher. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, it uh, targets a cipher and you can compel it six. So, he looks at another cipher, yep. uses this ability, and you can move your opponent's cipher six inches any way you like. <laughs> That's important because yep. you can draw the opponent's cipher out of line of sight, so mm -hmm. that whenever the, the Relic Knight actually activates, they're not in line of sight and they can't draw Esper off it. Right. Uh, he also has a degenerative field, so AOE debuff, uh, when units in the area suffer damage, increase the damage by two. Mm -hmm. So that can really be painful if it stacks up. Yep. Uh, one thing I will say, you can only be affected by a type of AoE once. So if there two, were two of these AoEs in the same position, they wouldn't double up. It yep. just increases the area that it, help, that it affects. However, if there's multiple AoE effects of different AoEs, mm -hmm. they do stack. Right. So, uh, Kasarato's uh, relic ability. Mm -hmm. Murder spree. That's That sounds... Happy, right? Increase Kasarato's melee damage by the value below. So, depending on his held Asper, this is like one shot. So, if it's holding one, it gets one. If mm -hmm. it's holding two to three, he gets two. Four to five, he gets three. And if he's holding six, he gets four extra damage. Okay. This guy does a lot of damage to start with, so mm -hmm. this gets scary very quickly. So, Crippling Smash. Uh, damage six, push four. Add four to that, you're doing ten. Yep. Gets worse. You can increase it to damage nine. Add four is thirteen. <laughs> That's taking a lump out of somebody. Yeah, very much so. Uh, he has Serpent's Coil, which is an overcharge attack. So starts off at damage 8 with knockback. Mm -hmm. This is the worst kind of knockback in the entire game. Right. Because targets hit by Serpent Coil may not be placed in the ready queue during the cleanup this turn. Okay. So you're out for an extra turn of that activation. Pool. So you're put into your idle? You're put into your idle pal, yep. and you can't come out of that in the next cleanup step. It right. has to be the one after that. So that you, means if you're having a, a game where you have three slots in your activation queue, mm -hmm. you can't go into that fourth slot, you have to go into the fifth slot. Right. The, th the theoretical fifth slot. Okay. You know, depending on the size of your game, depends on the number you have in your queue, which yep. actually really changes up your tactics. Uh, you can also give that piercing two, mm -hmm. just, just as an extra little kick. He has snare, damage four, pull four, mm -hmm. uh, increase damage six, and pull six. So you have push attacks where you're pushed directly away. You have pull attacks where you're pulled directly forward. Yeah. So if someone's you know standing behind cover, you hit them with this. Oh look, I'm pulling you into the cover, over the cover. Oh, and you're down the side of a building. Lovely. Right. That's a bit worrying. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now he also has Nozuki's favored. I'm not sure what this does, uh, but you can give it overcharged. So okay. I, I need to read up on what that is. Mm -hmm. You also have dimensional gateway. Move target friendly idle unit into the linked slot. Oh my god! So he can call anything, any, anything he wants from his idle pile yeah. to, to activate with him. Yeah. 
that's actually ridiculously <laughs> that actually good really because good, yeah. you can look at what's in your hand. Yep. You can say, okay, this is going to cost me four purple, one orange. Mm -hmm. I'll use that. Uh, what do I have left over? No, 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 no. That'll do. And off we go. Yeah, so you could bring in a really good unique or you could bring in a unit of something. Yeah, or if you have be... something that's about to get absolutely hammered and you needed to get it out of that bad position and into another position, yeah. use this, activate it, make it run away. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's really, really scary. Uh, his, his cadre ability is Zealotry. Mm -hmm. uh, friendly units within three of Kassaro Toe increase melee damage by one. Kassaro Toe does not benefit from Zealotry. I thank you. don't think he needs to. Yeah, <laughs> well, he's throwing out 12 and 13 damage a turn whenever he's fully powered up. Yeah. The other thing is, because he's having to hold Esper to power that up, there is a balancing act with it of right. saying, how much extra damage do I want to do? How much do I need to spend from myself to get my abilities off if I draw a bad hand? Mm -hmm. you know, but again, that's, that's me again, if I draw a bad hand. Yeah. So, the components. Our Mac relic guy. Yes, our, our massive monster that Kassara Toe runs around on. Yep. It's huge! It is a so, real chunky thing. We have the main body. Yep. Again, plug and play slots. Mm -hmm. You've got big vents and stuff that are going to be perfect, and I mean absolutely perfect for some glow effects. Yes, definitely. You know, as if there's a, a big furnace fired up in this thing's belly. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a flaming tail. Yep. So if you've ever wanted to practice some fire effects, this is going to be good for you. Yep. We have the face. Look at the character in this. I love that. I Abs really, really love that. Absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, we have its feet, of course, and it is a lion, so big clawed kitty feet. Yep. <laughs> big clawed kitty feet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have these, which are they actually are exhaust. exhausts that go onto the body. They go on, if I bring the body in, they yes. go on either side yep. of this. Uh huh. So we have two of those. Yep. I'll put the rest of our clawed kitty feet out of the way. Uh -huh. We have the legs, which have some beautiful scroll work done on them. Yep, so that's the hind leg. Yep, that's one hind leg. Uh -huh. We have this. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. It's the um, front shoulder. Ah, I see. So it's one of the front shoulders. Yeah. Okay. Uh, again, it, this model is just crying out for glow effects all over the place, you know, uh -huh. like in here and stuff. And a lot of beautiful copper detail, mm -hmm. I think, would look really good on yeah, this. Yeah, just set this thing on fire. It'll be beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got another one of the hind legs. Yep. And then we have the two front legs. Two four legs, which are, of course, designed to be cat-like, so mm -hmm. a little more spindly, a little less muscular. Yep. It so is beautiful. We'll bring... Casado yep. himself. So we'll start with his main body. Yep which is this. It's got a really Asian oriental feel to it and it's mm -hmm. beautiful. You know, you've got all those sort of samurai-esque armor blades. And, oh, he'll have a backpack of some sort. Which would be yes, nice. he, yes, he does. Uh, we then have this, which is one of his arms. Mm -hmm. So he's holding it up very much in a come and have a go if you think you're hard enough look. Yep. Uh, we then have, ah, this is his backpack. A massive blade of some sort. Yep, massive big Half moon glaive of some description, I would say that is. Yeah, well, and it's also got some really nice tech inscribed into it because yeah. these aren't just demons; these are actually an alien race which is coming into the, the universe mm -hmm. or, or into the galaxy. With any of his legs, mm -hmm. so nice big chunky plugs. You're gonna have no bother putting this guy together. Yep. We then have his face. Quite angry looking. It's very classic. You know, I think it's Japanese styled oni. Mm. You know, it's very, very cool. And then we have his weapon, which I love. Who doesn't love running around and hitting people with a big Tetsubo? Uh, tetsubo? Yeah, is Tetsubo. That, is that what you call that? Yeah, that's a Tetsubo. Okay. Uh, they actually used to use these to break uh, animal limbs. Lovely. Yeah, very nasty weapon from history. Incredibly effective and incredibly damaging. Mm -hmm. Imagine a big uh, hardwood wood club yep. with iron studs in it. Mm. You know, that's going to do some serious damage. Certainly. So, give me Azzy. Azzy! Oh, we actually have a, he has, a he two-part is, cipher. Yeah, he is two-piece. He's two bigger than the other ones we've seen. Ah, but you see, he's bigger because he's actually off the ground. Ah, uh, yes. He's like in mid-jump or something like yeah, that. Yeah, just his, his little <laughs> little bit of cloth holding him up off the ground. Yeah. And then you have his his little face, which yep. is, you know, he's, he's a small demon dude. <laughs> You know, that, that's all I'm going to call him. He's a small demon dude. Small demon dude. Yep. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, shall we get him built? Yes, let's get him I, built. I want to see what this does. We have Kassarato built. 
You can even see him on the front camera. He's pretty tall. <laughs> He's ridiculously huge. Yep. Uh, let's actually bring him under. I'll call it a close camera, but we're having to go quite far out to see him. So he's got his big battle lion. That thing looks so badass. It looks ridiculously mean. And then mm -hmm. we have the man himself, not even riding it like a normal rider. He is standing on the back of this thing going, Forward! To he, glory! He's like, saddles? Seats? No. I can stand on this thing. I don't need I'm a, a seat. surf on this lion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a surf on this lion, yeah. That, that is the tagline for this video. You do realize that I'm a surf on that lion. <laughs> it's, it's, it's what he's doing. He is surfing on a battle lion. Well, yeah, okay. You know, call a spade a spade. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, look, the details really pop out once you have them all put together. Yes. You know, it's the detail is there. This guy looks like he's going to be big and huge and intimidating on the battlefield. That's something I've found about this game. I've actually played a couple of games of this with John. Yep. And I will say, if it's big and it's scary, it will intimidate you. Because mm -hmm. there's another miniature from this range where it's a, a guy from the No, no Empire. Yep. But he's not a big beat stick. He's right. actually got a massive cannon. Okay. And seeing him, because he's so big, the gun is so huge, I looked at it and went, I'm a scared of that. I'm not going near that. So is this one of those games where you look at something and the bigger it is, genuinely the more scary it is? Honestly, yes. Yeah. Honestly, yes. You can be intimidated by it. The funny thing was, once I actually got into it, I discovered, ah, it's, it's actually I can do some damage to this. It's not unbeatable. You know, but so, if it hits you back. Oh, if it hits you back, <laughs> it hits you you're, back. you're yeah. screwed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like the thing is, there is nothing in this game that can't damage something else. Yeah. And the key factor with the, the No Empire is they don't really do armor. Yeah. You know, so they don't do armor. You can hurt them. Yeah. They have a lot of hit points, though, and they have uh, an ability on some of them called Recover, mm -hmm. which means you might do the damage, but after you've done the damage, I'm going to heal up. Yeah. It's useful. So let's have a quick look at Azzy, our, mm -hmm. our little tiny angry demon guy. He's got a very, hey, you pesky kids. Yes. <laughs> or actually, hey, you pesky humans, because these are actually an alien race. Yeah. Now, it's, it's one thing I like about Relic Knights is they're not scared to put in some wacky aliens in there. Mm -hmm. And the No Empire are one of those crazy, huge, nasty, invading forces that just wants to kill and burn everything. Well, the and take slaves. Slaves all over the place. Yeah, for the right. No Empire. <laughs> uh, I love the miniature. I think yep. it's going to be great in game. It's big, it's intimidating. Mm -hmm. If you want to scare your mates and you're playing Relic Knights, grab this because it's hilarious to actually see some people look at it and go, Kasarato, no. Do you know what? I have one one modeling suggestion. Yes. All right, let's bring this back under camera, okay. please. What would you like to do with it? Do you see those exhausts? Aye. Get yourself some of those cinematic effects and get flames coming out of that. Oh, yes. You know, get that. <laughs> get you those. just want a little set of three flames either side. Yes, big, out of like it. pillars of blue flame or red flame or something like oh, that. Oh, it has to be red flame. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> you well. Know. That's, that's what I think. That's the one thing I'd want to do to that model, is I, have some flames. If you want to add some exhaust. aftermarket extras, go nuts. Because you yeah. could actually add more flames onto it than mm. that, because you have these points on the, the top of the limbs where yep. you have some flames coming out. It could, if if it, you're handy with your green stuff, go nuts and post some pictures below for us. That would be cool to see. Mm. All right, well, guys, myself and John move on here. We'll see you in the next video. It's time for 28mm World War II action. Will you recreate history or reshape it your way? On the Bolt Action Hub at beastsofwar.com. Humanity has been driven from Earth, but now it's time to take it back. Join the reconquest and fight the scourge on the Drop Zone Commander Hub at beastsofwar.com.